What's up book lovers? Michelle Mahoney here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all of the new inventory I have for my Pango bookstore. So let's get started. So my neighbor and friend dropped off this lovely box of a few books in here. Um, so that's exciting. I had a book. I'm sorry, not a book. I had a box of books myself. Not really sure if I can post these or not on Pango. Not sure if there'll be something that people are actually interested in. Um, so maybe I'll try some eBay. I've done some eBay in the past, but eBay is a lot of work for sure. Like it's just way harder. Pango is super, super easy. So we'll see. Um, I might even be able to bring these to school since I'm a preschool teacher. Um, I could probably use those. But um, besides those, I also have an old coworker that I used to work with who also gave me four tubs of books. They were her, his father's. So there's like lots and lots of different history books and things like that. Again, not sure what would do well on Pango or not. Um, you never know because there's all different kinds of readers out there. But definitely I could probably do some of these on eBay. Um, I do try to stick to Pango, but um, I might do a couple listings on eBay and just see. I think I'm going to kind of depend, um, like when I look at the book, it kind of depends on what I'll do. So for me, I had my friend that dropped off or I went and picked up all those books the other day. He was asking me how I like sell books and what do I use and all that. So I was explaining it to him. And Pango right now is not, I feel like, super popular. A lot of people don't really know what it is. So there's not like major, major sales on there. But if you are a book lover, it's a great place for you to be able to read your book and then post it and earn money to buy new books. Um, and when I say new, I just mean new to you. So Pango, a lot of the books on there are pre-loved. But for me, I don't really care. I just want to read the book. So when I put my books on Pango, it's just supporting my reading habit because when I sell a book on there, then I can buy a new one. So that's kind of how I... I use it. Um, it's not really like a profitable thing. I'm kind of, you know, dabbling in what I want maybe for the future. eBay, you can make more of a profit, I feel like. Just for where the Pango status is right now, it's not like a hugely profitable thing, but it's more like supplying my habit. So as of right now, I have 179 listings on Pango and I really want to make that 200 and I definitely think I have the inventory to do it now I just have to actually go do that so I've uploaded about like four or five books to my Pango I've not finished all of the ones to get to the 200 but I definitely want to do that so I'm going to be working on that for sure but I want to have 200 books in my Pango and I sold a couple this week which is really nice and that has allowed me to go ahead and buy new books so like I said before Pango is just a great way to be able to support my reading habit and so why you know keep books that I've already read and not share them with other people so I can get money to buy new books right so that's really why I use Pango and I love it so much so if you haven't checked it out already I'll leave a link in my bio down below and you can definitely check out my store there's no affiliates or promos or anything like that it's just a way for you to check it out and if there's any books um that you like that are in my shop awesome and if not at least you'll be on there and you can search like everybody's site there and find books that you like so um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.